the Honourable Tariana Turia. Uh, Mr Speaker, that wasn't the question that I was asked. I was asked if I gave the Minister any advice about the Select Committee, and I said no, I didn't. Question number 11, Sue Kedgley. Thank you, um, Mr Speaker. A question for the Minister of Agriculture. Is it his opinion that keeping sows in crates for weeks on end where they cannot even turn around is cruel? And if not, why not? The Honourable David Carter. Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, it is my opinion that it is cruel and unacceptable to have sows in crates indefinitely. This government is committed to best practice in animal welfare and that is why after, after viewing that recent disturbing footage I have taken action and demanded that NAWAC review the pig code of welfare with urgency. I hope that that member and members of the public will make their views known to NAWAC. Sue Kedgley. Will the Minister make a commitment in this House that he will personally visit a range of intensive pig farms in New Zealand, preferably with the media, so that he can see at first hand the suffering of pigs in sour crates, or will he continue to rely on the advice of the chair of the National Animal Welfare Advisory Committee, who claimed on television recently that pigs are probably happy in sour crates? The Honourable David Carter. Mr Speaker, I have already visited a number of pig farms I did not do so with the media because I'm going to make sure that animal welfare is delivered in a best practice based on science and reason and not on blind emotion as that member would wish it to be. Sandra Gowdy. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister of Agriculture, what reports has the Minister seen on the review of sour crates? The Honourable David Carter. Mr Speaker, I have seen reports from the last two Labor Ministers of Agriculture, Honourable Jim Sutton and Honourable Jim Anderton, both refusing to ban sour crates and emphasising the need for the NAWAC process to be followed. I have also seen a report from the Deputy Leader of Labor, Honourable Annette King, on News Talk ZB last month, supporting this government's approach to the sour crate issue and agreeing with the actions that I was taking. This is the responsible approach, and I thank Labor for taking that approach. Sue Kedgley. Thank you, Mr Speaker. On his, the recent visits that he has undertaken to intensive pig farms in New Zealand, did he discover that the practices that were screened on television recently are indeed widespread in some pig farms? And will he therefore do as he promised, and indeed the uh, Prime Minister promised, uh, use his powers as Minister to require changes to the pig code, including the phasing out of sour crates? If the not, why David not? Carter. Mr Speaker, can I ask that member to familiarise herself with the Animal Welfare Act? By law, I cannot override the NAWAC process and ban crates immediately. Section 70 to 79 of the Act make it absolutely clear, absolutely clear that the NAWAC process must be followed. That is the law that was passed by this Parliament. I intend to adhere to the law, and I think that minister should stop being that member should stop being irresponsible and also adhere to the laws of this land. Question number 12, Rahui Katane. Mr. Speaker, thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Education and asks, 